what we do for fun is more purpose driven. Many of you are out to succeed and do things the change the world crusaders. And this is a beautiful thing. And as long as you're fulfilled in your purpose, then you're having fun. It's not work. But when it gets to be a grind, some of you do not understand time to let go, time to recharge your batteries, time to refresh, time to turn off the business and turn on the home life, time to go take a vacation. You don't understand that. Welcome to Becoming Awesome with Peter D. This man dies and goes to heaven in Europe. And when he gets there, he's greeted by an English gentleman. And a French person says, I will do all your cooking. And then a German guy shows up and says, I'm going to make everything run smooth. Your schedule will be on time. And an Italian guy comes up and says, we're going to have so much fun together. Another guy dies and he goes to hell in Europe. And he's greeted by a French person. An English gentleman says, I will do all your cooking. An Italian guy comes up to him and says, oh, I'll make sure everything runs smooth. It'll all be on time. And a German guy says, we're going to have so much fun together. <laughs> anyway, that's my ethnically inappropriate stereotypical joke about Europe. I wanted to start with that because we're going to be talking about the topic of fun today. And... I just wanted to put a plug in for the uh, retreat that'll be happening in Western France in Durange on July 3 through 7. For those of you in Europe who are going to be vacationing there this summer, this is your chance to really just immerse yourself in a beautiful energy field with a lot of high caliber people who are going to help expand your consciousness. Check below for detail links. But now let's get into the topic, having fun very, very important thing. And today's going to be interesting. It's going to be a different kind of channel because I'm not going to just channel one entity. I'm going to go through a variety of different entities and they're going to be folks I normally don't channel in public, but entities I speak with. So it's going to be kind of a fun adventure. And let's get into why fun. Okay. Before I do, put your comments below. This is a discussion. Let's participate. So it's like this, when you're having fun and when you're laughing, you're in a higher frequency, period. You don't work at it. You don't have to do processes. You don't have to do all that stuff, that clearing I keep burdening you with, right? You're just there because you're having fun. It's automatic. It's your natural joy state. So the game then is well, how to be there. And you'd be there by being there. You just have fun. So Saturday night. Um, I'm eating dinner with some friends and we're getting ready to go see a play, the complete works of Shakespeare, abridged and revised and revised again. <laughs> it was just so funny. We laughed our butts off. It was like nonstop, just three actors, just such buffoonery, such clever wordplay, just, ah, oh, just beautiful, beautiful experience. Just comedy at the finest Okay. And I felt so good about it. And that was when it was clear to me, I should talk and share the virtues of having fun. Not that you need to know about that, but you kind of need a reminder if you're like me. Now it was funny. I'm at this dinner and a couple of friends joined us who had just seen Abraham as channeled by Esther Hicks because Abraham was in town. And, uh, they, we got together for dinner and they're sitting there saying, wow, the topic all day was having fun. Esther kept saying, you know, either this or there's fun. What are you going to choose? And no matter what it was, you know, what's more important, the money in your bank account or are you having fun right now? Right? What's more important in anything? And the answer was always fun. And I was sitting there so smug because my friend had just done a workshop and had been in this workshop and were learning about fun. And I passed on the workshop because I didn't feel drawn to it this time. I've been there, Esther, just beautiful work. Thank you, Abraham, for all the gifts you've given to our planet. But I wasn't feeling drawn this time. I was at dinner thinking, hey, you were at a workshop to learn to have fun. Now we're together for dinner. I'm celebrating dinner and going to have fun. 
Das habe ich jetzt selbst zu machen. <lacht> And I can say that because I remember what it was like when I was so messed up earlier in my life and everything was just oh, such a burden. There's so many problems that I just created in my reality and that's all I lived by. And uh, I remember seeing somebody who had an open, a chiropractor had an opening group and uh, uh, an opening to spirit and could talk to him. His prescription to me was play for an hour a day. Seriously. That's what he told me. As I traveled from Guam to California just to see this guy and just to be told play for an hour a day and it i like, didn't even know what that meant play how what do you mean so of course i would just go to my strategy which was i like playing board games and card games so i did that for an hour a day and now it's just uh gotten to the point where you know i build a ah, time into anything i do ha ah, just time to go ha ah, my wife and i'll be sitting here and in a rocker chair or lying back on the sofa and usually i'll be fiddling with some kind of video game or just reading something on the internet that i enjoy and and just it's just a ah, time just to relax so it's part of my regimen of play it's just relaxation is in everything i do and then uh you've heard me talk about this before and it's so important to raise your vibration with laughter Because when you're laughing, you're in a vibrational state that's just really good. So you should be laughing every day. That should be your prescription. Laugh every day. Uh, I've talked about how you can watch things on TV series, right? Just find a series you like that you knew from when you were a kid that made you laugh. And you know, they got streaming services. So you don't even need to endure commercials. You can just laugh, you know, in 20 minute dose a day. And it's nice because it may take a while to break out of your curmudgeoniness, your pattern of just being stuck. But after a few days, you'll be laughing. And then it'll filter through the rest of your life. You'll be lighter. Uh, my wife and I, Tracy, we've put together the Becoming Awesome community. There'll be links below for that as well. Uh, and we offer it free. You don't even have to be a paying member. Uh, once a week, we do laughter yoga. And it's to me, it's one of my highlights of the week. You just get together with people and you're just silly and you laugh and the energy is so nice and uplifting. Um, so that's available to you, you know, at least once a week to laugh. That's what I'm here to say is have fun. It's the most important thing. Now, the channeling part of this, I thought I would ask entities that I normally don't channel publicly, but I speak to, uh, I have good relationships with, to have some fun. All right. And let's start with Sekhmet. Oh, hello, beautiful. I am the goddess Sekhmet. That's what you know me as a goddess, really, on my planet, Syrian. I'm just more of your great, great, great grandmother in the lineage of where humanity traces its line from. And that is why I'm so happy to be with you now. And Peter has asked me to channel <laughs> about <laughs> having fun. And what is there to say? Because if we channel about it, it won't be fun. <laughs> you will be in your mind. So we are going to tell you two stories instead. The first story is Peter in his recovery, would hit these hard points. And as he would work on his ascension, he would hit these really desperate points and he would just feel so beaten down. And he would pray the cookie prayer. He was smart enough to pray the cookie prayer. God, I really need a cookie right now. I don't care what else is happening. You must give me a cookie. It must be now, it must be warm and gooey, and it must taste good. And we're here to say, Peter, who do you think has been baking you all those cookies? <laughs> <laughs> When we say we're the grandmother, we don't mean that in your lineage of your incarnations, but from the Syrians come other species like the Pleiadians, who come other species like the humans. That's how the seeding works. The other story we wish to tell you is one that you're aware of, but we know that your viewers would love to know about, and that is how my children, Rock and Newt, as you call them, and you know that's not their names, <laughs> but no matter how often we present our colors and our signature frequency and our sounds of who we are to you, you come up with Rock and Newt. 
<laughs> so you see them as giant, giant cats. When they first appeared to you, you were able to perceive them as really big, bulky men in black. And now you see them as the cats that we are, the large, large cat beings that we are. And when Rockanute first came to you, you were in politics and you were running for governor and you were worried about the dark energies you were walking into as well you should have. And you naively thought that if you could bring your light to those dark energies, it would lighten things up. And when in fact the opposite happened, you went into those dark energies and you got darker. <laughs> Duh. Uh, uh. Anyway, we, Rockanute, came to you and said, don't worry, we'll protect you from entities that want to assault you. And so you were always happy knowing that you had this protection, these giant cats. Now, recently, you've been realizing that you're free. Your field is free. You've made your sovereign statement that nothing can come to you that is not in service to love and light. But, you know, there are still entities out there who occasionally try. They usually bounce off your own free will. But sometimes we're there to help, Rock and Newt. And when you ask them, what do you do? they just started laughing what do cats do when they see a mouse <laughs> so when there's a dark entity they're like yeah this is sport let's go get them and they catch it and bat it around and everything now we're not interested in killing entities or destroying it it's not like that at all but we do enjoy the chase especially rock and newt and then when they have these darker entities they say okay look you know better don't come around here we can take you to the light if you want to transform we can help you and even help you with energy to shift who you are but you're not coming back around here anymore are you <laughs> and for you it was just amazing to think oh my god the protection entities that are with you look at it as sport when they go hunting <laughs> So you can see we are laughing quite a bit about it. This is how humor is in our neck of the frequency cosmos universe. <laughs> Thank you for letting us share this with you. Thank you so much for all those of you viewing Sekhmet. All of us are available to you, your whole lineage. Okay, let's bring in the nine... D. Octoran Council. <sighs> I first uh, met them from reading Daniel Scranton's channels. Beautiful work. Thank you, Daniel, for sharing that. So then I just started talking to them directly, uh, and I don't really channel them much because they've been channeled a lot by Daniel, and, you know, who needs competing channels out there? But let's bring them in because they're one of my go-to guys, and they help out in all the sessions I do. They uh, send energy to upgrade people. So it's really kind of fun. So that energy is flowing through this video now. Let's welcome in the 9D Actoran Council. Peter. <laughs> Peter, how do you tell jokes in 3D or even 5D when you're in 9D? <laughs> There's nothing really funny to say, but you can feel the energy and it's coming through you and you're laughing and that's all that matters. What we are here to tell you about is connection. Connection. What gives us the greatest joy is when we're with those we love, which is you, of course, and also all of us, because we've done our work, as you would say, you love to say it, and we're going to say it for you. Here it goes. Clear, clear, clear. <laughs> you got to say it, right? You should be happy now, Peter. <laughs> We've done that clearing work. Hence, we're in a vibration. We wouldn't be in 9D if we weren't in that vibration. Okay, where it's more connective. So what is the greatest joy? It is connection. So for those of you who want to have fun, are you doing something social? And in your culture, you kind of bring it to bars or go out and do that. And that's okay. But a lot of those places are kind of, nah. it's just a matter of being with the person. It could be a, a cup of tea could be a walk outside oh nature oh yes isn't that the most beautiful connection to amplify how beautiful the connection with another person is being in nature <sighs> that's what we do for fun and that's what we want to share with you are you making a connection with those around you you know and animals can be just as much as as humans but it's just making the connection and then let yourself be 
let yourself flow and that will instantly fill you with joy. It'll make your heart lighter and you'll find out that what comes out of your mouth will be more laughter. Especially if you pick the people to be with to reflect your beauty. You know, if you want a crying buddy. <laughs> oh, whoa, let's all get together and talk about how horrible life is so you can validate me, pat me on the back and tell me to hang in there and keep doing the crappy stuff that we're doing together. <laughs> I mean, you want that, you can have that. <laughs> is that? That's not what we're talking about. No, we're talking about just being with people who have done their work and therefore share their beauty and fulfill you. And that that is what is fun for us. So we thank you. And we hope you're picking up our energy in this melange that Peter is cooking up for you in this video. We're going to stay in the background as he channels other entities. Sekhmet is acknowledging us too that she is here and is making it even more sweet as you can receive if you choose to allow all the gifts. There's so many people out there willing to help you. They're all aspects of God, so you can just ask God to help you. And it may show up as some of these entities. Or you can ask these entities to show you, help you. And it may show up as God. Uh, it's all just part of it. There's so much out there to help you. And we're so glad to be part of it. And you're letting us in. <sighs> okay, it's Peter here again. So another entity that I talk with, but I don't ever talk with her much, like very few conversations, uh, is Selena. She's kind of an eighth dimensional healing angel, uh, kind of Pleiadian too. I don't really know what to say about this other than I pick up her energy signature and it's not quite angelic and it's not quite Pleiadian. She's laughing right now. And uh, she just doesn't talk with me much, but she does a lot during sessions I give with people. She hangs out and just sends energy to folks to heal them, just to raise their frequency and heal them. So let's welcome in Selena. Oh, beautiful souls, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, Entity Peter, for giving me voice. We don't talk much, because much of what I do is not of interest to you, and we know that. We know that you're all playing your 3D game, trying to build your channeling up so that you can help people and earn an income stream. We know all that, and it's fun to just watch you, and we're so happy that you've let us connect during your sessions to help other people just with that energetic imprint. It can be quiet and loving, and it doesn't need to be spoken. But we were happy to have this opportunity to speak. And <clears throat> what we do for fun is more purpose-driven. Many of you are out to succeed and do things, the change the world crusaders. And this is a beautiful thing. And as long as you're fulfilled in your purpose, then you're having fun, it's not work. But when it gets to be a grind, some of you do not understand time to let go, time to recharge your batteries, time to refresh, time to turn off the business and turn on the home life, time to go take a vacation. You don't understand that. So it may seem burdensome to you, but if you love what you're doing, just as this channel Peter loves what he does, it is such a rewarding thing. And he has extra energy, but he too had to learn, scale it back on the weekends, schedule days off, take vacations. There's a million people, as your Christ said in one of your famous musicals, Jesus Christ Superstar, there will always be poor. Think of the good things you've got. So you have to learn to have that balance. Now, some of you also are crusading out of obsession. Yes, yes. You feel the pain of the earth around you, and so you become an eco-warrior. You feel the density of what you would call evil, and so you become a father god warrior. Onward, Christian soldiers, right? All that stuff. And, and you do that, and you lose purpose. You lose the point of your purpose, because what it is is you haven't dealt with your own pain that's being reflected back to you. And if you deal with that, then what you do becomes joyful and happy and easy, and you can laugh about it, and you're not obsessed. Now, that could look like you put a lot of hours in because it's the most satisfying thing you can do during the day. Peter is that way. When he's writing his book, he doesn't do anything else. 
he just writes. When he is selecting friends, he's only interested in the ones that have high frequency. Why do anything else? Okay? People, there's going to be people who have low frequency. It's not his job to save them all. It's his job to be authentic to who he is. And then the ones he chooses to help in the venues he's created for help are help, are helped. And the other ones are, he selects who he resonates with and they are friends. And this is what we're asking you to do. Find joy in your passion. And if it's coming from obsession, coming from an unfulfilled pain that you have not addressed yet, you know how to deal with that. Peter's got plenty of tools. And the rest of the time, you're going to have kind of a loving joy. And I hope you feel that now. Peter's just vibrating with it. And I hope it's coming through the video so that you can feel it too. It's not always just heck, laughter that is strong. Sometimes it's just that beautiful connection of joy. Thank you. That was Selena. Whew. Thank you, Selena. Now, I'm going to do something I've never done before publicly, and that is mediumship. Uh, all the entities are out there, and all of them can be connected with. Um, I just choose not to. So many people come to me and ask me, oh, you're a channel, and then ask me to be a medium to someone who's passed away. And I, I always refuse because I don't want to really get in the middle of their relationships. And it's like, just go do your own thing. <laughs> Clear up your own stuff and ask them directly, right? Because my experience is most of the people have passed on and haven't really merged fully with the soul that they are and still remain that fractal. Uh, you know, they don't really offer much beyond what they had when they were on the physical plane. So I just don't do mediumship. However, I do know that there are certain entities that when they were on earth were super good at what they did and they can teach things. And I'd like to call in a comedian. And when I was sitting in my hot tub this morning, the one who came up was Jerry Lewis. <laughs> and again, it's not a lot of words. It's more like... <laughs> <laughs> which just cracked me up when i saw it when i was little i thought it was just stupid but the imprint has been with me and so now when i think about those things or go watch an old jerry lewis movie i'm just like oh. so i would like to welcome in jerry lewis who is already here now you've been seeing the faces and jerry what do you have to say for everybody on the topic of having fun now nah, well you want to have fun <laughs> what are you doing watching this video <laughs> unless you're laughing <laughs> oh <laughs> i got nothing from jerry he's just keeping me trying to make faces and i'm not flexible yet in the way he is with the mastery of faces oh but the energy is just so funny i'm like when i was talking to him this morning in the hot tub getting ready for this video um, he's not really telling me anything he's just yung, yung, yung. i'm just laughing from it <laughs> so there you go <laughs> the words of jerry lewis and they're all nonsensical <laughs> he's laughing harder now he's like well what do you want me to say you asked about being funny, and it's the being that's funny, not what you say or do. It's the being that's funny. Oh. <laughs> and I hope you're going to let that in. Oh. All right. Thank you, Jerry Lewis. And yes, I hope you're with me. Many more channels just hanging out in the background, helping me crack jokes. <laughs> he didn't say anything. He just made more faces at me. Some of those big ones. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having a blast doing this. I hope I hope it's contagious and you're laughing. <laughs> you're just sitting there and go, this guy's kind of screw loose. Because <laughs> I am, of course. Oh, all right. Thank you, Jerry Lewis. All right. So that was uh, all the channeling for today for entities that I've never channeled before, including mediumship for the first time. Uh yeah, it might not be many more of these mediumships because, boy, I didn't get any information. I just got faces that I couldn't stretch and make. I could see them and try to let them flow, but I couldn't make, oh, what Jerry Lewis was doing. 
So hopefully you had some fun today. And more importantly, hopefully you're going to make fun a regular part of your being. It's who you are. It's beautiful. You can let it out. And then your problems kind of fade away. Your answers come to you. You know, why work hard on your ascension when you can laugh your way and get as far? You still have to do your clearing, but you may as well laugh about it, you know? All right. So that was it. You know, go out and make some fun, whether it's through the purpose that you enjoy, like Selena was talking about, through the friends and people you uh, <clears throat> enjoy, like the 90 Actorians Torrens we're talking about, whether it's through sport, sport activity, like Sekhmet was talking about, or if it's just goofiness. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you around. Check out the link below for the community. Uh, we once a week have a laughter yoga session. I would love to laugh with you. Give me any good jokes you have. And uh, who knows? Any comedians that maybe can be channeled in the future. Who would you like to hear about from a fun perspective? Wouldn't that be a cool video? All right. Stay blessed. <laughs>